Hi everybody, welcome to Cricut Bows and Headbands. We are going to talk about how to slice an image that you have uploaded to Design Space. So in our prior video, we talked about how to upload them if they're a JPG or a PNG file. But we also talked about the downside to those type of files is that they only come in as a single layer. So off on the right side of your screen, you'll see that we only have one layer to this file and we only have one color. That doesn't always work for everybody. A lot of times you guys want to cut them out on different mats and so you need to have multiple layers that you can work with. So here's how we're going to do that with this image. Just a basic butterfly bow. We're going to use our shapes and we're going to use slice to get our layers. Let's go in and select a shape. It doesn't really matter what shape, I'm just going to go ahead and use a square. That square is going to open up on top of my screen and I need to stretch the square so that it covers up one piece of my design because that's what we're going to start with. We're going to slice out the bow part. From here I need to select both this box and this image in the background. A couple different ways you can do it. This box is currently highlighted so if I press my shift key on my computer and click on the butterfly part it puts a bigger box around everything. If that doesn't work for you, the other way to do it is single left click and hold your mouse down in a corner and drag it over the entire image and it will highlight it all. Now, Down in the bottom right corner you'll see that you now have a slice option. It's down right here in the toolbar. I uh, totally forgot I had to touch screen and so I just went ahead and hit my slice button, but that's okay, worked out for me. So now you'll see that if I slide this image over, I've now got the bow and the base separated. And you'll see that they're now two different colors. I need to delete this box, so single left click, highlight it, delete it, and single left click, delete the bow piece that I've just duplicated over here. So now I've got two layers. I've got the bow and the base that still has the band on it. Well, I want to make these into three layers. So I'm going to do that process again. Shapes. I'll still use a square. doesn't really matter about the shape. But you just want to make sure that whatever shape you use, it only covers up the piece that you're wanting to slice out. I don't want this overlapping on my butterfly where it's going to take out half of my butterfly. Again, I'm going to either shift and highlight the butterfly or I'm going to drag my mouse and highlight it. Down to the bottom of my screen on the right, select slice and now pull my bow band out. Delete the other two pieces and now I have all three pieces separated. If we go over to the layers panel over on the right you'll see that I now have a band, a butterfly, and a bow. I can even go in and click on the dot that is the color button and change the colors on these if I want to. And let's just, I'm just picking random colors. Now when you save your file, it's going to save it with your three layers and your three colors. Hope everybody enjoys that little trick. Thanks for joining us.